lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me Like the fella once said Ain't that a kick in the... Hi, I'm Matt Farm and welcome back to the Bond Movies presentation of Fallout New Vegas. So, okay, here we are outside Gunrunners. I um, just wanted to sell a few bits and pieces I sold all the uh, surplus weapons and things that I didn't want anymore. And I've also changed the armour and equipment that the girls are using. So Veronica here, she's wearing the modified metal armour. She's still wearing the Shima. And I've also changed her weapon to the uh, the blaster there. That big energy weapon. Uses the electron charge packs, uh, same as the laser RCW. And Cass has now got the bounty hunter duster on. She's got a different pair of shades on and she's wearing her own hat. She's also got the hunting rifle, the 5mm M version of the hunting rifle. So she should be a bit harder too. Um, my loadout's still the same, I haven't changed any weapons and uh, I still look the same too. I'm used wearing that nice cowboy hat that I found um, outside Vault 3. So yes, Tommy's looking pretty cool. Right. Now, as I was selling things to the gun runners guys, I noticed there was a chap standing there next to a workbench called Isaac. So I thought we'd have a chat with Isaac and see what he's up to. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Okay, so you work for the gun runners? For around five years now. I handle the supply into things, raw materials and stuff. Who are the gun runners, although I kind of know? Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Okay, right. Any chance I could get a tour of your gun runner factories? I know they want to do that right away, however. But I'll ask. None whatsoever. Everything go. inside the fence is off-limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. So who's in charge of the uh, gun runners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. It probably is a sweet job with all that high-end weaponry. That's cool. All right, thank you, Isaac. Goodbye. Later. Cheerio. Right then, um, the plan, I think Veronica's hurt her leg there, I'm not quite sure why, maybe she's twisted her ankle or something. Um, we're going to go and talk to Chesty down at Boulder City for the next Bounty Hunter quest for Randall. And we also need to go back to Good Springs and talk to Paul, uh, because I believe they fixed the fence. And it'd be quite nice to see the fence fixed and the uh, final, or at least I think it will be, the, the final... Finishing touches to the old schoolhouse. So let's jump back in the truck, go over to Boulder City, and then go over to Good Springs. Okay, here we are back at Boulder City. So we've got to find someone called Chesty. I don't know where Chesty would be. I don't remember seeing Chesty anywhere, but I guess I guess we're starting the saloon's probably a, a good place. Yeah, I keep discovering my truck is kind of concerning. Maybe. Uh, Tommy's head injury still hasn't healed properly. Maybe he's just a bit forgetful. Major Jackson. Ike. Are you Chesty? Ah, Chesty. Hi. What? Can you buy me a drink? Just one drink. Look at me when you talk to me. I need information about the caravan attack. Well... There was a big fucking explosion, and I got covered in Brahmin guts. Mike was shot to shit, but he managed to get one of them. It wasn't raiders like I'm used to, just a couple of old guys in weird uniforms. It was at this intersection, and it, here. Anyway, there ain't much left there, but you can look. Well, we cleaned up the bodies, but left that old dude to rot. Okay. I guess we go and check out the uh, spot that um, Chesty has marked on the map. It's all the way up there. 
um, next to the Crimson Caravan. Well, we might as well jump in the truck, go over to the Crimson Caravan and then up to that spot that Chessie's just marked on the map kindly for us. Might as well. Let's do that. Now it's nice. back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Yeah, that was thanks to me. You owe me some caps, I reckon. Anyway, not likely to get them, am I, off the NCR? Um, let's head up to the Crimson Caravan. So I quite like the, the armour that Veronica's wearing, the, the modified metal armour. I think it's kind of suits her, it's kind of a cross between power armour, metal armour. Um, yeah, look at this good with the Shima. Eddie looks cool. Right. We are here, Crimson Caravan. Right. So, it's north of where we are. There's a couple of traders here. Probably just restocked at the uh, the depot, as it were. Let's um, have a chat. Hey there. Need anything? Um, let's have a look. See what you got. Sure. Here's what I got. Oh, something interesting probably hasn't. Nope. What about your friend? Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, let's have a look. Sure. Here's what I got. I don't remember seeing you before. Um. You haven't got anything either. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Okay, exit. Right. Let's have a look. There's some more traders there. I might as well talk to them all. See what they've got. You're a trader and you are as well. Okay. Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Here's what I've got. I could do with some EC packs, but you haven't got any of those either by the looks of it. No. Nothing. There's three travelling merchants and all three had zero. Nothing. Nada. Rubbish. Okay, so it's up here. Well, I don't think this area is particularly safe, so um, let's get the old Ferguson rifle out. Actually, I should be able to see them quite a way, so we'll get our Paciencia out instead. That I do love. I do love the Paciencia. Well, I guess we're looking for remains of a caravan. I think. Looks like it's this way somewhere. I think. Is that it in the road there? Maybe. Okay, there's not exactly a lot left here. But there is some notes. So let's have a look at the notes. You scan the bloodstained pages of Quantrill's diary. It's a crude account of countless raids, scavenging missions and skirmishes that span several decades. The final log mentions his superior officer, Anoda, and Quantrill's feelings for him. It mentions their intent to assault the Brotherhood of Steel safe house as a means to acquire weaponry. Okay, I guess that's where we've got to go then. Um, which would appear to be over there, but how far away is over there? A fair distance. Let's go, let's go trekking. Right, I don't think there's any enemies. Oh, he says straight away and then one appears on the compass. So where are those enemies? Ah, oh, over there. Miles away. Let's leave them be. Apparently there's one over there somewhere too. But we're going this way. We won't deliberately walk into a bunch of enemies if we can help it. Where's Veronica, guys? Okay.
I'm sure she'll catch up wherever she is. Pretty sure it's this way we're supposed to go. Okay, who's that over there? Let's scan. See if it's hostile. Neutral. Okay. I do like that scanner, it's quite useful. They must be protecting that uh, substation there. Oh my good god, are they actually shooting us or... Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but we are fighting. Right. Well, that Mad Llama is strong. Okay. Destroyer. Fiend Destroyer. That's a Gatling laser, isn't it? Okay, is there any more? Oh, here comes Veronica. Did she actually shoot that guy's head off? She had their flank, didn't she? I think that's why all of a sudden they all died. Because good old Veronica came and helped. Okay, let's have a look what these guys were holding. It's a bit weird. Maybe this was like a... Oh, we need the electron charge. But I need to give those to Veronica. Recharge a supercharger coil. Oh, okay. I just want to take them out of armor because... Um, I'm going to have to take that Gatling laser, that's too awesome. Um, I'm taking the metal armour because Veronica's armour needs repairing. Well, there was one that was vaporised up here somewhere, but... Probably not going to be able to find it now. Oh dear. I could hear that coming before it appeared. Veronica, let me have a look at your armour. And I want to give you the electron charge packs. Okay, sorry leaving you in your underwear at the moment. But um, I do need to repair your uh, your armour. Yeah, it should be a lot better now. Yeah, cool. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No, I'm not making you carry the heavy stuff. I'm actually giving you some cool modified metal armour. There you go. I wasn't too keen on the power armor she was wearing. I know it's Veronica, I know Brotherhood of Steel, but I like that. I think that's cool. Right, I want to designate one of you as the new carrier, because Eddie's kind of carrying stuff that I want to keep, but it makes sense one of you carries the other stuff. Gas. Let's distribute the weight. I want you to carry this stuff. I picked up something else, didn't I? Pontrill's notes. Um, we've already read those. Okay. Whatever. Let's um, man this bounty. Thank goodness this isn't a rad storm. Damn rad storms. It was a bit of a nightmare when you're out in the open and a rad storm comes along. Rise your hairy bits. Okay. Who's that? 
that is enemies. Hostile enemies, right. Are they the ones we want? Not sure. They got the one in metal armor. One down. Thank you. Cool. Missed. Whoa. Oh, really bad shot today. That's another one gone. And oh, nicely done. I think that was Cass. <laughs> Cass with the hunting rifle M. Okay. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Let's uh, get on with looting these corpses. So I don't know if this, uh, I don't think this was anything to do with the bounty, I'm not sure. A 10 mil submachine gun M. Just his stuff, bike with goggles. Uh, I'm going to take all of it apart from the mug. So there was, what, four of them? Bits of brain everywhere and um, other such stuff. Oh, trail carbine. I like trails. Let's get this. Uh, Strange thing, I actually like collecting trail carbines. I'm not sure why. Okay, merchant uniform. White pearl necklace. If I ever find Veronica a dress, maybe she can wear a white pearl necklace with it. Um, is that it? I could have sworn there was more than that. There's another one there, look. Okay. Some hand load bullets, that's cool. I think I've got. Three of the assault carbine extended magazine mods now. Alright, exit. Okay, so, um, yeah. They were just hostile raiders in their camp. Nothing to do with the bounty. Right. I hope we're not going to walk into Deathclaw territory any moment. That would not be good. There's a fire over there, I can just about see it through the storm. And there is someone there, there's a Brahmin. Oh. Okay, that was a fiend butcher. Whoa, they're just spawning out of nowhere. Okay. Rules Shack. Alright. Use rule. Cigarettes, recharge a rifle. Alright. Over in Camberg, because I've been picking up all the thinking metal armor, haven't I? Don't really think I really need to pick up a ton of metal armor. Let's repair this stuff. Okay, plasma caster. Drop that, it's not worth anything. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, that will do. That's freed up about 50. Right, was that it? I think that was it. A malnourished Brahmin calf. Cool, blimey, look at that. It is malnourished, poor thing. If Willow is here, she'd give it a dog biscuit. Probably. Okay. Rules home. Now, this isn't where we're supposed to be going, but let's have a look anyway. Okay, rules home. Let's turn his radio off. Um, 
One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode is I've actually installed a new Quick Loot mod. Um, as you can see there, it's different to the Fallout 4 Quick Loot for New Vegas. It's uh, done by a different mod author, but it does pretty much the same thing. But I'm hoping it won't have the same bugs as the uh, Fallout 4 Quick Loot mod. Um, in that uh, it won't just disappear and all the other HUD elements disappear with it. Um, that was most unhelpful and unuseful. So yeah, I'm hoping this will work better than the other one. The other one was a really good mod, but when all the UI elements disappear, it isn't very helpful, as you can imagine. And the only way to actually get the UI elements back was to uninstall the mod entirely. Um, you could reinstall the mod and then it would work for a little while, then it would disappear. You could see it in my previous episodes. But I'm hoping this one doesn't do that, and it works. Okay, I found one bug um, back in the truck. Every container it thinks I'm stealing, but if you go in the container, uh, it actually doesn't steal, and you can take the stuff as normal. So, I mean, I can live with that, because I won't be using the quick loot in the truck anyway. It's still useful to have it in the truck, so you can see what you've put in each container, which is fine, which is cool. Okay, still don't know who Wall was. I hope doesn't mind me taking all of his stuff. And his uh, yucca fruit. Yucca fruit. Right, well, we still haven't found what we're looking for. And um, there is some hostile people over here somewhere. But I can't see them yet. Let's uh, bring back up the. Paciencia. Can I get up high? Get a vantage point up high. I think I'm at the edge of the world map. Okay, there's some monsters over there. Oh, they look like they look like tyranids if you're a Warhammer 40,000 fan. That's got to be hostile, surely. That looks awful, that thing. Yep. It's got DT-15. So really, ideally... Armour-piercing. I've got quite a few. Let's take these things out. Whoa! That is one tough animal. Claw beast. Awesome. Tough. All right, let's reload. Let's reload and take the other one out. Okay. Whoa! Nice. Um, I've just noticed that the quick loot mod that I was just talking about is coming up from a distance, and I can actually loot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to report that bug, um, and <laughs> that's awesome. I can loot by looking through the scope of my gun. Okay. They don't look good over there. That looks like an alien. It really does look like an alien. As in HR guy got aliens. Threat high, 700 health. Okay, that's not good. Oh, sorry guys. Reload, reload. Oh, they are aliens. Oh, Cass is gone. What? No, not good. Whoa. Whoa, they're tough. That must be part of the monster mod. I haven't seen them before. Okay. I think the aliens actually suit this well, to be honest. Um, Xenomorph blood. 
Okay. You all right, Veronica? Eddie as well. Let's kill that. It's tough. Um, no, just come. I'm a little bit concerned now with the uh, the caliber of the enemies here. Oh, I looted them with my scope, didn't I? Um, yeah, very much concerned. Whoa! Not good, not good, not good, not good. Some claw beasts. Whoa, nicely done, Veronica. Cure, blimey, Eddie was knocked out again. Okay. Okay, I think I found another bug. It's not letting me uh, put my weapon back in. Just save and do a quick load and a quick uh, quick save and a quick load as well. See if the uh, the weapon goes back in. Might have to uninstall that mod. It was uh, version one. Gun's gone back to normal. Okay. So I'm wondering whether they can perfect these quick loot mods or not, to be honest. Feels like a Brahmin kicked me. A Brahmin didn't kick you, it was these things. The death geck and the other stuff. Okay, we really need to find this bounty because those things are fierce. There's something else here as well, and the hollow point really isn't what I should be using. Okay. I need some more ammo. Okay, up there by the looks of it. Let's go around this way. Let's get the uh, riot shotgun out. What ammo have I got? I've got some slug ammo. Good, that should be better. I don't know that we could get up here or not. I don't think we can. I don't want to change the weapon I'm using at the moment because uh, I've got a feeling they're going to come. Whoa, what's that person, I think? I do want to change my weapon now. I know that. That's the guy I'm looking for. He's wearing some funky, cool armor there, by the looks of it. And uh, he damaged me quite a lot. Okay. Brotherhood of Steel safe house. So was that a Brotherhood of Steel armor? Enclave officer hat. Enclave officer uniform. Okay. I know his finger. So he was the bounty. Awesome. Requires key. Okay. Presume we get the key off the Brotherhood of Steel. Right. So. We need to head back to Randall now, I think, seeing as we've got another decomposing finger in our backpack. Um, return to Randall. Fine. Need to get out of this area pretty quickly, I think, because uh, that's not good. That's really not good. Okay. Right. Let's head back to the truck. Hopefully we would have killed all the enemies on the way already. Okay. Here we are back at the truck. Right, now uh, we've got to go back to Randall. So I'm thinking we go back to Randall before we head back to Good Springs. It's getting quite late now as well. 
That's seven o'clock. So if we head back down to Randall, go to Prim, and we'll go and talk to Randall about the bounty, collect the next bounty if there is one, and then we'll go to Good Springs, talk to Paul about the um, the old schoolhouse, and probably get a good night's nice sleep there at the old schoolhouse. That's the plan. But I'm glad we survived that. Aliens and Pyranids. Scary stuff. Not good. Okay. To Randall. The NCR are still here. Wonder how the Powder Gangers are, are doing. Actually, I don't know my standing with the Powder Gangers. Probably still hostile. They're killing Joe Cobb in Good Springs a long time ago now. Wonder how close we are to leveling. Sun's nearly down. Right, Randall. Take a Noda's decomposing finger, please. Hey there. Is the convoy attacker dead? Yep. Good. Here's your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. 500 Come back when you're ready caps. for the next job. Someone is always in need of killing. Okay, I'm ready. You ready for another job? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, that's a good point though. Why do I have to collect fingers? Can't I bring back their head or something? What? I don't want to bring back their head. Head's bigger. It'll be more smelly. Let's see what, what it are says. You, some kind of psychopath? Yeah, yeah, it's Look, not right. We collect fingers because it's a quick and efficient way to provide proof of death. I'm not building some crazy finger necklace or anything. I learned it from a man I encountered in my younger days. He found me after Marco had cut me to shreds since he was on that bastard's trail. His name was Marshall Cooper, and he was the bravest lawman and bounty hunter I ever encountered. I saw him kill three raiders single-handedly with a fucking fork. <laughs> I wouldn't believe that shit if I hadn't watched him with do it. With a fork. I don't know much about him, except he came from Virginia or Maryland somewhere. He was some kind of high-ranking regulator. Anyway... He saved my life several times, and he taught me everything I know. We parted ways years ago. He had unfinished business back east. After that, I came out west, looking to join up with the first crew that would hire me. Anyway, that's enough of fucking story time with Uncle Steven. Are you ready to work or not? Yep. That's what I like to hear. Our client is offering 1,000 caps cap. for this next awesome. target, and after hearing about her misdeeds, I understand why. The bounty is on a fiend named Eileen. She's a vicious twat with a reputation for castrating male victims and consuming their flesh. Suffice to say, her activities are detrimental to troop morale. The payout is big on this one, so bury that sick bitch and head back. Yeah, my pleasure. She's a castrating cannibal. Horrible piece of work. Right, Eileen. Where is Eileen? Let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, she's just south of all three. Alright. Fiend territory, of course. We'll have to head back up and get Eileen at some point, but let's head back to Good Springs now. Um, I don't know whether it's still going to be light enough for us to see the handiwork of Paul and Dean. Fixed fence, but I suppose we could always stick on the old pit boy light or uh, stick on night vision. Or use cat eye. Or look at it in the morning. Don't mind blazing as long as we got the ammo and the whiskey. Back to the truck. I actually like being in this area now because I know it's relatively safe. And um, you know, northeast of Vegas there with aliens and god oh, blimey, that was hairy stuff.
Okay, the sun is really very nearly down. Let's uh, head back to Good Springs as soon as possible. Come on then. I keep adding more flamer fuel to the truck every time I go back to the gear out. We've got quite a lot of stock now in the truck too. Lots of food, lots of drink, lots of meds. Loads of cigarettes, we've got like 500 cigarettes. Which reminds me. Tommy fancies another one. Oh, addicted again. But looking cool. Right. Let's go and have a look at this uh, schoolhouse. It's only going to be about 9 o'clock at the latest, I would think. Wonder if Paul's gone to bed already. I'm gonna use cat eye. Quite like using cat eye. But I haven't got much cat eye left, so I think I'll start buying it when I see it. Dean, where's Paul? Inside? Oh, howdy, neighbor. Did you see the fence all fixed up? Uh, no, but I'm sure he looks good. Yep, the landscaping was just a little surprise. He did landscaping too. Seems old Dean used to be a maintenance man and groundskeeper at a golf course before the war. Guess he still has a green thumb. <laughs> well, there is a lot of Dean that's green. Hey, that's not nice to say. <laughs> but yeah, point taken. Anyway, I think that's about it, neighbor. Don't be a stranger, and we're always here if you need repairs or supplies. Oh, here's your chainsaw back. See ya. Awesome, thanks, Paul. Just have a chat oh, with you about there. your stuff. But it's complete. Don't fence me in. Okay, here's what I have in stock. Yeah, just, uh... Oh, you got a big book of science. I'll buy it. Um, what else you got? Not a lot else, but can I sell you some stuff? Yeah, of course I can. You know what? I've got another chainsaw now back in the car. The uh, the truck. You can have that one. Um, and you can have the plasma rifle and the plasma caster. You charge the rifle's pretty rubbish. You can have that. And those. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Awesome. Sold most of my stuff to Paul there. Right, let's have a quick look at this um, schoolhouse then. Let's turn the old pit boy light on too. So there's landscaping being done as well, apparently. So the fence, there's still the old fence there. Okay. Not great then. Oh, we've got some tables, some chairs, a fridge with some nuts in. Can stay there. Oh, we've got a campfire. Cook some food out here. Make some party time mentats. Why not? Rushing water. Slasher. Okay. Why not? We've got gate. Oh, we've got another. Oh, no, but that was always there, I think. Just never used it. Could have taken the old fence away. Collect all this stuff while we're here. Okay. Right then, I think it's got getting close to ten o'clock, half past nine. I think that's it for the day. I really do. Let's have a quick look. 
So we've got the other bounty. I'm quite eager to go and kill Eileen as quickly as possible so she doesn't castrate any more innocent men. Um, up in near the Vault 3 area. And we need to go over to Vault 22, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll head up to Vault 3. Probably leave the truck in Camp McCarran, go down to near Vault 3. And then head up over to Vault 22 and try and find Keeley. And we'll do all that, of course, a little bit later on. How lucky can one guy be?